Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take 360 VR stabilization that you've done in Synthize and apply it in After Effects so that you can have a simpler workflow for doing 2D work on your now stabilized VR footage. So you don't have to do the stabilization and then export a new set of images from Synthize and drag those into After Effects. You can just do the stabilization inside of after Effects using the data provided by Synthize. So to do that does require a plugin to apply the stabilization and for 1608 customers that's available through the customer only area. In later versions it'll be already in the plugin folder in Synthize. In both cases you need to install the plugins into After Effects. You can see the directions for that in the manual or the readme file that you downloaded the plugins with. So if you're using the demo version, you're not going to be able to use this to produce full stabilized shots though. So we're starting with the final results from the VR tutorial part number two, where we've stabilized the footage. And this footage is originally courtesy of the people over at 360 Rise. And you know, originally it started out with this ultralight being dead center in the image and bouncing around itself and, and the background bouncing around a bit also. And you can see that as part of that main VR tutorial number two, we've stabilized it to a world coordinate system so that things off in the distance are exactly in the same direction. The user doesn't have to go looking in different directions to follow the same thing in the scene. So. We are ready now to export this stabilization process to After Effects. And to do that, we're going to go and we're going to go off to the export list. And up here in the 360 VR area, we've got our After Effects 360 stabilizer. So we can just fire that up and hit the file there. So we've got a bunch of controls here. These are you know, uh, uh, just a few of the controls from the main After Effects 3D export. So you can look at the manual for that main exporter to see what all these things do if you want to see the details. Now, I've already got After Effects started in the background. It's just sitting there ready to go. So we're going to use the auto run capability here within the exporter and just click OK. And now you see that After Effects has run the script already that Synthize just exported. So it's really quite a quick process. Just to recap, you know, here's our original footage. You can scrub through that and you see stuff bouncing around a bit in the background. And now we go and we look at the comp and do the same thing. And it's nice and still, so let's just go and let After Effects go through and apply this to the entire footage. So what we've got is just a 2D comp down here with the footage sitting there and an effect on it. And that effect is one of the synthized effects that does the 3D stabilization. And it's just getting some pan tilt roll information from synthize via that exported file. And it looks like the data is stationary here, but that's not really the whole story. Just let this thing finish up for a second. So, you know, if you scrub through, that data is actually fully animated up here to each individual frame to do the stabilization. So, I don't know if we go and look at the individual curves, you know, they're, they're jumping all around with exact values for every frame to keep it nice and stable. So it's really a quite straightforward process to get that out of Synthize and into After Effects. And once you've done that, then you can go and keep on adding what other effects and whatever you want to do here in After Effects. So quite simple. Enjoy and thanks for watching.